another two weeks away, so I'm just trying not to think about it. Just go scone training. It's just another normal match in front. It's in Crow Co- Park, obviously, but try not to let that go to my head too much. Just go out and play it like any other normal match, hopefully, and then finally, hopefully, the final whistle will be all good and we'll be all happy. What's the family like? They must have been delighted with that Westmead win as well. <laughs> oh, they were absolutely delighted now. Very happy. Like, my mother played Camogie all her years, so it was nice to make her proud and make the rest of the family proud. And just, they're there the whole time, so it's good to give something back. It is, and you're spurring on the next generation as well. They're looking at you here tonight and they're going, you know, hopefully that's us in a few years. Yeah, that's that's, all, that's what you want, really, just to keep the generation going up and up because Camogie, Carla Camogie's right now to keep it going higher is the main thing, not let it fall. So get all the little young ones. You see, there's so many here. There's been four finals here tonight so it's great Michelle when you look back the last couple of years of Carlo Camogie and where he's have started from and yeah. come through in last year's treble and then up into Premier Junior um, the Intermediate all that this year as well and now you're in an All-Ireland final it's you know you sort of have to stop and take stock yeah. of it sometimes as well it's pretty incredible right oh, it's, it's actually crazy like looking back at the year we've had about we've played so many matches like through league and championship and Leicester championship we've just played so many matches and then thinking back at last year we just we've come so far like thinking back in the start of the year back in November training down here in the cold in the freezing cold running doing everything we can and then finally it's all paid off we're where we want to be now all we have to do is put a cherry on top and hopefully win What's your take on the Westmead match? It was pretty intense. We all were listening or we were there and watched it on the day. It was pretty hectic, but you showed incredible mental resilience to get through, not only with 14 girls there as well, but the extra time period as well. Yeah. Westmead didn't sit down. No, no oh, that was, that's, oh, it was just unreal. So it was to come back and win by extra time. Like we were seven points up four minutes to go and they came back to two points. Like we couldn't let them go at all. We had to stay working hard, hard, hard. Thank God we got the two goals and just so happy. Just the final, so when that went I was like thank god it's over that's all I was happy about Armagh is the task you face now in Crow Park as well what do you know about them at this stage um, they're very good like the bet is are, bet are already bet is by pints so we're going in underdogs I think we're definitely not up high, up high. Like they're, they're up high I think like we're definitely the underdogs so hopefully now we can give everything and just go all out